All right, folks, this is Express Written Consent. And we got the Sklar brothers with us. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Thank you for Great having us. Here. Thank you. Randy Thank you. Nice to be here. Randy, Randy Jason. Yeah. Jason, Randy, Randy, Jason. Sometimes I don't even know anymore. You guys have been prolific. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. It's called hustling. It's called not getting into something really When steady. you're not wildly <laughs> successful, you <laughs> become <laughs> prolific. You suddenly become prolific. It's yes. like she's got a great personality. Oh, my God. Get out. Oh, my word. Oh, Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence. A friend of ours describes him in the box like a deer that's about to be hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. He's just like all around. He's everywhere. He just launched one so far. It's now in traffic on the 5 freeway. <laughs> and, so. and it's late. Yeah, and it's we'll late be there for a long time. Yeah. So that's Saturday traffic. The, uh, before Sunday we were in rudely interrupted by Hunter Pence, yes. by the way, we were talking about uh, having to be prolific when you're mediocre. Now, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's an oversimplification. Yeah. I think when you're excellent at something, you're allowed to be prolific, and that's something you guys have Thank been doing you. for a long time. Thank you. Yeah, you know, we there are a lot of different things that we do. Stand-up, radio, our Filling podcast. for Jim Rome. Filling for Jim Rome. And when you get a chance, and acting and whatnot, when you get a chance to do all those things, it makes you appreciate each of them individually because they each, like, fulfill a separate need in what we're, we're trying We're basically to do. the Jose Okendo of... Uh, of like <laughs> nine tool players. <laughs> if we can, we want to be, we want to strike out Deion Sanders looking. Looking backwards K, man. Backwards K. And that Rick Mailer. That is a thing that happened. That yeah. is a real thing. Backwards K. He should be in the Hall of Fame or at the very least hang a plaque of his on the utility closet. So we just shot an hour stand-up special that it's taken us a couple years to write and put together. We shot it in Madison, Wisconsin at the Majestic Theater uh, in February. And then we did a nice, I loved it, a runner kind of like sketch between at the beginning, the middle, oh, and the great. end with Rich Eisen of the NFL Network, Omar Dorsey, Terrell Thomas, Terrell Thomas and Dwight Freeney, oh, awesome. where they basically break down our comedy as, oh. as if we're as an if, NFL game. That's great. So it's a pregame and body Bernstein. And body Bernstein, too. So to the sideline reporting. Pregame, so. halftime show, and postgame of our stand-up special. We're super excited about it. So but. that's awesome. You got... You're on the Jim Rome show periodically. Every month. Every, every month. month, his Showtime show, Jim Rome on Showtime. So we'll be on it this this week. Or I don't know when this it's comes It's like the out, second Wednesday of every month. Awesome. So all tune right. in and we're on that too. That's all the things you got coming up. I want to ask you one really yeah. specific baseball question. Put you, you in the spot it. right Go now. Um, if you could be one baseball player uh -huh. for one day, yeah, one specific day, Ooh. who would it have been? Ooh. Who or would who it, would it be of all time? Of all you time. You could be one player at any point in time, okay. but just for that one moment okay. you're thinking about. Okay. Who would that player be, and what right. would that moment be? Easy. Mine's so easy. Right. Who would it be? Jason, My, what do you got? I'm Vince Coleman. Uh, After the Cardinals won, I was at the, the, to get into the World Series, I believe, in 85. Vince Coleman got so drunk. Had no idea that like they were going to cut to him. And this an was interview. at a time when people just weren't used to being on TV. camera. So... Art Holiday, God bless him, the Cardinals light, or the St. Louis sportscaster. Local for, sports guy in, like, the most Cosby sweater. He like has a, to interview Vince Coleman. Yeah. And he's like, Vince Coleman, tell me about you. And he's like, we got the best players <laughs> on this team. We got Ozzy Smith. Tell me about it. Let's yeah. get let's get real. Start bench cut. Stand the man. Albert Pujols. Ozzy Smith. Oh man. I, I mean Pujols. I'll say this. We loved Pujols with all of our heart. Our one collective heart. And we and one of us has a baboon's heart, and the other one has a human heart. Regular heart. We are not going to let you know who has what. We loved him when he chose to go to the Angels. And I opened up my computer that morning and saw him in red and white. And I was like, oh, we got him back. Then read the fine print. I felt like I had been broken up with by someone. I'm going to go. I'm going to do one better. You know that woman who basically killed her boyfriend with her stiletto heel. That's the way I felt. Like he had taken a stiletto heel to it my just head. Jabbed it. I'm kind of like, why? He could have retired. As he could this. have been the new generation. Stand the man. He I, had it. I think stand the man is the one you play without a doubt. Okay. Start, stand. start stand the man. Stan Musial had a, has a place in St. Louis called. But I'll say this about Ozzy Smith. Can we give one Ozzy Smith story? Because it's just... Uh, the internet is full. All right. Okay. So, no. All right. Yeah, of course you Thank can. Thank you. All, All right. right. So, 
when we were kids and 12 years old, Ozzy Smith had a rest- has a restaurant in St. Louis called Ozzy's, which we begged our parents to take us to Ozzy's. Like, please take us to Ozzy's. We're They're like, like, he's going to be there. They're like, he kind of also has another job called shortstop for the Cardinals. So they finally agreed to take us there. They're like, it's overpriced chicken fingers, which, yes, that's what it was. But Ozzy Smith could be there. So we bring our gloves. We want him to sign our gloves. We go to the restaurant with our friend. Ozzy Smith is there. He's there. <laughs> We're like, aha. We got you on this one. She's walking around the tables. We're like, oh, my God, he's going to sign our gloves. This is, like, amazing, right? So we see him approaching our table. We reach down to get our gloves. When we come back up with the pen, our father has the bread basket. And he's like, to Ozzy Smith, can we get some more rolls, please? To Ozzy Smith. We were so embarrassed. We were mortified. We had to leave. We had cut to walk to, out. Cut to, I would say, six years ago. We were doing a cancer benefit in St. Louis, performing at it. All, like a ton of St. Louis kind of luminaries. Jay Randolph. Mm-hmm. Jay Randolph used to call Cardinal Baseball as well as a lot of yeah. golf, some bowling. He was there. Ozzy Smith is there. Our father, who was still alive at the time, was there. We meet Ozzy Smith. On stage, we tell the Ozzy Smith story. This is how great Ozzy Smith is. This is how unbelievable he is. He goes in the kitchen of the casino that we're at, <laughs> brings out, brings out a basket of rolls to, over our, father. to our father, walks over to our father, hands him, him the a rolls. basket of rolls, like closing the circle of what once was open the whole time. Our dad looks him in the eye and he's like, where's the butter? Where's the butter? Phenomenal. <laughs> where's the butter? Phenomenal. <laughs> Out. It's hard not to start start Ozzy Smith in that given. You know what? I think we gotta start Ozzy. We gotta start Ozzy. Start Ozzy, we'll bench me as you and pull holes. holes. Cut I will allow the re rostering of players. Thank you. That's an amazing story. Amazing brothers, Star Brothers, thanks for those guys. Thank, Thank you. you thanks for having us. Ozzy Smith, Terry Pendleton, Willie McGee. you want to know. <laughs>